There is nothing quite like the sound of more than 30,000 pairs of feet hitting the pavement at one time, except maybe the sound of those feet running to a little Bruce Springsteen, Kanye West, or maybe Vivaldi. Tomorrow, when the starting gun fires for the ING New York City Marathon, some runners fear the famous race will never sound quite the same. They are as in tune with their bodies as they are with their tunes. Plugged in runners who believe getting to the finish line takes both muscle and music. When you get a good song, somehow you somehow just manage to go faster. How can you run 26 miles and not have music? Endorphins may kick in the so-called runner's high, but some swear by the power of rock and roll. Right now I'm listening to the Grateful Dead and it just makes me feel happy. But could tomorrow's New York Marathon be known as the day the music stopped? This will be the first New York City Marathon under a ban imposed by racing's governing body against portable music devices. We moved to a ban because we saw with more and more people coming to races with headphones, the possibility of safety issues was arising. The fear is that with earphones on, runners won't hear what's happening around them and cause accidents. This, they argue, is much quieter. I've done a bunch of marathons and uh, I've seen people uh, who are blind running with assistance and uh, people who are deaf. Um, I don't see how it's a, a safety issue. The headphone ban puzzles amateur marathoners like Colin Malone. Do you usually listen to music when you run? Um, occasionally I do. If I'm uh, not running, running with friends, I'll uh, usually uh, put the, the headphones on. As he may do tomorrow, and with 30,000 runners, race officials admit they'll be hard-pressed to enforce the ban. In reality, we're not positioned to go taking people's headphones off at the start of a race. But some elite professional marathoners say earphone-wearing amateurs can be a real hazard. When we're running five minutes a mile, it's still really fast, and so things happen in a split second. Race organizers are simply encouraging runners to leave the music players at home, pointing out the best music comes from the sounds of New York. Nonetheless, it seems like lots of runners are planning to step off to their own beat. Rules or no rules. Well, I'm going to have to sneak it in then. Can you not spell my name till tomorrow? Okay. <laughs>